right before this video he peed on my rug <laughs> Aisha Tufbella here. If you're new, welcome. I am in the business of normalizing luxury for black women. And today we have a special guest. You want to say hi? This is Milo Bear. Milo Bear. So I'm here to tell you about all of the things you need when you have a puppy and what the first 48 hours look like. Listen, I was going to vlog, but girl, girl, uh-uh. I was deep into it, like I could not walk. Stop eating my hair, please. I, I just couldn't do it, okay? So I brought some notes. Um, first things first, let me introduce you guys. This is Milo Bear. Thank you, thank you, Milo. This is Milo. He is eight weeks old. He is a miniature puppy. He is about the size of a banana and a half. Um, very chill. He can act up some time. He doesn't, he's a baby. He's a little baby. He's feeding. Sometimes he chews on things that I don't want him to chew. But Milo Bear knows his name. He knows no and he knows come here. Uh, we are working on sit and lay down. So without further ado, now that I've introduced you to my doggy, my little doggy, I really briefly wanted to tell you guys what you guys need when you have a puppy. Because I was looking and these videos weren't hitting the way they were supposed to right milo the people want to see you not me they want to see you not me we get so much attention um with milo bear but it's so funny anyway now that i gave you the specs about my little boy i wanted to tell you the ex essentials that i think that you need when you have a puppy so i encourage you to get a playpen some people have a crate but i really wanted a doggy playpen because i didn't want him to feel like he was in jail even though i know that some dogs appreciate it and don't mind it i personally wanted him to have a playpen you need toys he's a little baby and he enjoys playing a lot um, so I have a few toys. I have a chewer because he is feeding. He is a baby. His baby teeth are going to fall, which is crazy that that's kind of similar to real babies. Um, I got him chewers. Um, I have a little giraffe. I noticed that his personality is that he likes to tug on stuff. So I got him a little tassel. So I'm going to link his little toys that I have so far from him. For him, you need a blanket for your dog and of course a doggy bed. I was lucky that my breeder gave me both of them. Um, so he had a little scent of his previous home and when I brought him here, he was a little more comfortable because he could smell his previous home. You're going to need lots and lots of wee wee pads even though they're going to test your gang stuff, but we'll talk about that later. You're going to need wee-wee pads. I got mine from from Amazon. And we're almost halfway through it within like two weeks. Oh, he's You're also going to need food and treats. I highly recommend that you speak with your breeder and just clarify what type of food that your dog eats. You don't want them to transition so much when they're first in their home because it's a new home, it's a new person, it's a new scent, and then you're gonna give them new food? That's gonna give them diarrhea, sis. So just find out what type of food that they eat and provide that and have that ready. My breeder provided me with a night of food, of food that he could have, but I already had his food ready and ordered from Amazon. So it was already prepared like Everything was ready and waiting for him. In addition to that, you want to get him treats. You want to get your puppy treats because you want to encourage behavior. I do the good boy and bad boy system. Poodles in general are the second smartest dogs in the world. Um, they're very smart, so I just want to make sure that I provide, you know, um, rewards and reinforcement. And he also know when I'm upset at him because right before this video, he peed on my rug. So I would encourage you to get rug spray as well to remove the scent and the, the pee pee, okay? Uh, but also be patient. I also went ahead and got him a collar with a bell because he's so tiny. I want to be able to hear my dog and not step on him. Thank you, Milo. That is why I have this bell and the collar. Now let's talk about the first 48 hours. All of my friends warned me, so I was kind of prepared. 
I was tired the next day after the first 24 hours. I didn't want him to self-soothe, so I put him in his playpen and he cried throughout the night, but he's a pretty okay self-soother. He woke me up at like 1 a.m., then 3 a.m., then 5 a.m., and I had to be at work for 9.30 a.m. So the first day I had my friend watch him because I know the separation anxiety would be crazy, but overall he's pretty chill. Like. I also got a doggy cam so I can watch him while I'm at work because I do not work from home full time and he's a puppy but he's going to learn like I'm doing what works for the both of us and for the most part he's always with me my nieces are over to watch him while I go to the salon and do my hair he's very well taken care of and in a good home the other thing that I wanted to talk about okay so separation anxiety is serious he's going to chew um, and I heard that that goes away. This is what puppies do. He's very chill. He has a very chill temperament um, About 75% of the time the other 25 he is very attached to me So he follows me everywhere He cries sometimes when I take a shower and leave him in his little crate um, He likes to chew around my rug and my socks even though he has toys and yeah, I, I think I got lucky. He's a very chill dog overall. He loves me, but the separation anxiety, the separation anxiety be real with Milo. Right, Milo? I think he's sleepy. He chooses sometimes to pee on his wee wee pad and I train him and I give him treats. But sometimes he just be having me mess up and testing my gangsta and I be like, I will fight your little black. Your little black, because we're black. Um, you do need doggy shampoo. You don't wash them every day, but um, my breeder told me every other week or once a month, but we do every other week. I also have doggy wipes and I wipe him around. He cannot go outside yet because he's a little baby and he needs his 10 week old vaccination before he's around other dogs. But I let him roam around the hallway. Like, I'm not trying to keep him prison. We need to exercise together, right, Milo? So that is pretty much it. I might update you guys, but also this is my channel. This is Milo's channel, right Milo? Um, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If I forgot anything, I'll probably put it in the comment and pin it. But I pretty do you want to say thank you so much for watching? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this luxury channel. And I'll see you next time. No? Okay, Milo wants to go to sleep, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Au revoir les patron. My name is Amira. You want to look at this camera. Oh. Hi, my name is Amira. And Milo is my cousin. <laughs> I'm dead. Say bye to the people. We gotta go. Bye. Say bye, Milo. He's so hyper.